Sofia. Hello, Maria. Hi, teacher. How are you? Bien, fine, you? Good. So you're working today? Yes. Okay. <laughs> you you finish until tomorrow, I imagine? No, uh, I finish today at uh, 11. Yeah. Oh, good, good. So, yeah. what time will you arrive to your house? Um, sorry. Okay, yeah. go ahead. Sophia, how are you? Hi. Hi, I fine. And you? I'm doing okay. Thank you. Are you better than yesterday? Yes, uh, a little, yes. It's less inflamado. Uh, inflamed. You can inflamed. say inflamed or you can also say swollen. swollen. Let, let, let me write it for you. Swollen. Swollen mm. or in inflamed. So the, the two options are good. Okay. Swollen or inflamed. Okay. okay. So I imagine that you're taking antibiotics? Yes. All right. Yes. Did you work today? Yes, I I work but I I rest my my leg. <laughs> okay, good. Good. That's good. All right. So welcome back. It's eight o'clock already. So here we go. What is today's date? What's today's date? Araceli, Sophia. 20, 20, Wednesday. Yes, Wednesday. Tuesday, Twenty sixth. Exactly. Twenty twenty. Twenty six two thousand twenty or twenty twenty. Right. Right. Okay, so welcome back. Uh, let's talk about the topics that we covered yesterday. Um, what was yesterday's uh, topics class? What was the topic? Superlatives. Good, superlatives. Uh, remember that we use superlatives when adjectives. you are, yes, superlative of adjectives, when you are mentioning three things or more. If you are mentioning two or less, you use comparatives. If it's three or more, you use superlatives. Good. So according to yesterday's class, what is the rule to make the superlative of a short adjective? What is the rule? How do you say el más rápido? How do you say rápido in English? Fast. Fast. Más rápido, you say faster. How do you say el más rápido? The fastest. Very good, the fastest. How do you say uh, barato in English? Cheap. Cheap, más barato? The cheapest. If you want to say cheaper. más barato, you say cheaper. If you mm. want to say el más barato, mm. then you say the cheapest. Okay, good. Now, what is the rule to make superlatives with long adjectives. What is the rule? Mm, you, before uh, add the most and after uh, the adjective. Exactly, yes. So how do you say it um, 
emocionante in English? The most exciting. Okay. So you said exciting, more exciting, the most exciting. Yes. Okay. How do you say peligroso in English? Dangerous. Dangerous. What is the comparative of dangerous? More. More, dangerous. more dangerous and the superlative form the most the dangerous very dangerous. good very good all right so we're doing okay um any questions or comments about uh the topics that we covered yesterday no no okay so let us begin Let's open our books to page 28. 28, 28. All right. Sixteen. Twenty-eight. All right. So this is the explanation that I was giving you a few seconds ago. So we have a box, we have a chart, and in the chart, they explain um, how to use the superlative of short and long adjectives. So let, let me send a picture. This is what we have right now. Okay, so may I have a volunteer to read the, the introduction, please? Somebody? Can you hear me? Look at the example in the box. Uh-huh. Yes. Um, use the superlative form and adjectives to compare more than two persons or things in a group. Okay, so more than two. What do you understand by when you say more than two? What number are we talking about? Two and three. Three, Four. exactly. So we have one, two. What is more than two? Three. Three. So when you mention three things or three people in a group, you need to say uh, the superlative form. Okay, what is the first example that we have here? Jack? Jack is the fastest server. Okay, so in this case, we're talking about a cafeteria or a restaurant with five servers, seven servers. So you're using the superlative form. What about number two? That was... The sadness moment in the shift. Okay, so imagine your shift is eight hours, nine hours, seven hours. So there were different moments. But if you want to use the superlative form and you want to specify which one was the worst, then you say that was the saddest moment in the shift. So, and what about the, the other one? The busiest hour is during lunch. Okay, the busiest hour is during lunch. So after lunch, either before or after, everything is quieter than, than lunch. So when you're talking about lunchtime, that's when everybody is busy. Okay, and here we have examples of the exceptions. What is the example here? Kitchen managers? Have the best schedules. Have the best schedules. And the other one? I usually receive the worst tips. Okay, so remember, the worst and the best, they are opposites and they are considered to be uh, exceptions. Okay, um, any questions or comments in the first part? No? Okay, so this right here, this is what we do when we're talking about um, short adjectives. Now this one here, 
the most interesting customers come to our restaurant. So the most interesting customers. So that is the opinion that the restaurant has. So that is the opinion. So they got like the most interesting customers. And here in the last part of the chart, once again, we have the explanation. Superlative of one syllable, you have to use this article and then you have to put EST to the adjective. If the adjective has two syllables or more, then you have to use the most and the adjective. Any questions or comments class? Questions or comments? Okay. No. All right. So let me send you this image. Exercise six. That's going to be your first activity. So this activity is very short. So after you finish doing ex exercise six, I want you to create your own um, sentences using this right here. So let me create rooms, recreate. Okay, so we got this here, add a room, add a room, add a room. And here we go. It's loading, 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 loading. Araceli. Okay. Yay. Jane Yay. is the the fast the fa the fastest. The fastest. Hello, hello. Hello, teacher. How are you? Oh, very good. Nice. How was your day, Fernando? Um, in my day, teacher, in the morning I was designing for the clinic, the mm -hmm. COVID clinic. Uh, in the afternoon, I work. I work on the updating the information on the clinic website. Okay, good. Yes, teacher. All right. For the moment, for the moment in the Congo City, a little cool. A little cool. Right. Is, yes, teacher. Yeah, Lourdes has had a a lot of rain today as well. It's been oh, raining yes. a lot. Okay. It's true. In the Congo City, it's raining hard. Okay, good. Yes. What about San Miguel, Maria? Um, has there has it been raining? No, no, but um, 
from uh, Taipei uh -huh. last week uh, to yesterday uh, was raining in San Miguel. Okay. Yeah. All right. Good. I'll let you guys finish uh, your work. Okay. <laughs> Yes, is is the connection okay. is unstable. The connection is okay. Number three for why is the the is fastest. fastest the fastest the fastest yes. the fastest or fastest the fastest the fastest yeah the fastest okay number four delivery just the best. Uh, that means reward, reward. A reward is like uh, when you when you uh, for example in the uh, how do you say oeste teacher? El viejo oeste. oeste. Old, the, the old uh, east. Ah, in the old east, the uh, cowmen um, uh -huh. uh, make a. Uh, um, uh, how do you say uh, pamphlet or, or a pamphlet or, or anuncio? Yeah. Okay. A pamphlet. A pamphlet with the. Uh, imagine, the thief. Which, uh -huh. If you get example, a thief, a thief uh -huh. and uh, they offer the police reward. maybe give you a regard, re, a, mm -hmm. reward. a reward, a reward, a reward. Ah, okay. Yes, a reward. Ah, okay. That, that's a that's a good example. Okay. Yeah. So if you capture the fugitive. Uh, that they are looking for, you know, you receive a reward. Reward, reward. Yes. Reward. Hello, hello. Hello, teacher. How are you, Christian? Very good. And you? Good. I'm doing okay. Thank you. How was your day? How was your day, Christian? Are you working? I work. Okay. All right. What time did you finish working? Uh, uh, 5 p.m. 5 p.m. Okay. Yes. All right. What about you, Araceli? How was your day? Can you hear me, Araceli? Can you hear Araceli, Alexander? Yo creo que tiene problemas con audio, teacher. Okay, so she's having audio problems. O creo que ella nos puede escuchar, pero nosotros no podemos escuchar ni otra vez, creo. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. All right. Here is our angel teacher. <laughs> Hello, how are you? Very Hi. good. Ajá. Uh -huh. um, we are reading the number seven. Uh huh. Um, we have um, doubt. doubt. We doubt. have a doubt. Uh huh. You. We have a doubt about about the number three. We don't get it. What what that Okay, means. take working preferences into account. For example, if they ask you, Helen. Uh, mm -hmm. What do you prefer? Do you prefer working in the morning or in the afternoon? Mm -hmm. Do you prefer Let to me. work in the kitchen or in the reception? So it is good that workers, if possible, they are given the chance uh, of working in the place and the time that they prefer. Ay, eso sería tan bonito. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like uh, I, I used to work in an academy where they used to ask you, uh, Francisco, do you want to teach adults or teenagers? 
So whatever your answer was, they gave you the group that you wanted. So it was good. Excellent. It's yeah. like a positive way, maybe. Right, mm -hmm. right, right. So if they say, look, uh, what days do you want off? Oh, I want Sunday and Monday. Okay, we'll mm -hmm. give you Sunday and Monday. So that means that you take into account the worker's opinion. Okay. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. And about the overstaffing and understaffing is, is the opposite, right? Yeah, they are opposite. Exactly. So imagine that the company functions good with 20 people. If you have 25, you're overstaffed. If you have 15, you have Under. yes, exactly. Yes. Okay. So that's what it that's what it means. Okay. Thank you, teacher. All right, good. Let me assign this person here. All right. Okay. Interesting. 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 Uh, interesting. Interesting. Yes. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. Interesting. Teacher, I, I just uh, uh, today I arrived uh, late. Yes. But I understand that we need to re resolve the number six. Uh, yes. So, number six is your mission right now. Ah, uh, okay. And, and, and since number six is a small uh, exercise, when you finish, I uh -huh. want you to make your sentences using the best, the fastest, the most popular, the prettiest, and the longest. So just give examples. One with, so okay. one, one sentence with each uh, expression. Using using superlatives. Yes, using superlatives. That is correct. Ah, okay, okay. All right. Uh, <laughs> teacher, how do you say chiste in English? Joke. Joke. Yes. Uh, okay. uh, it's like a, a, the, the joker. The uh, movie. Exactly. With no R. Joke. Mm. Joke. Uh, joke. J O K E. Yeah, like Joker, but you omit the last letter. Okay. Ah, okay. Joke. Yes, joke. Exactly. Okay, teacher. Do do you know uh, any any no uh, any joke? Uh huh. Um, not in English. really. In English. <laughs> not really. In um. You know, for some reason, the only jokes that I remember are are for adults. You know, so they are they are color red. Okay, color red. <laughs> so okay, I, I, I I know a few jokes, but uh, I don't. Think, I don't think I, I don't think this is the the right place to to say the joke. Oh, okay, I I understand you. <laughs> yeah, especially when when there is a video about. All the class. Okay, in, in the in the WhatsApp chat, please. Yeah, maybe in the WhatsApp chat that, that would be a good uh, 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 suggestion. Yes. Okay, teacher. Thank you. All right. Hello, hello, Araceli. Can you hear me? Hello. How was your day, Araceli? Did you have a good day? Can you hear me? I think you're having connection issues, Araceli. So l let me assign you, let me make some changes. Silly, move to room two, and Christian will go to room four.
Hello, hello. Hello, hello. teacher. All right. Did you finish exercise number six? Yes. Okay. So let me, let's go back to the main session. Okay, um, what is the answer for number one class? What is the correct answer? The most important thing is to find a substitute for sick employees. Good, good, very good. Now, what is the most important thing in your life? The most important thing. Money. Money. My okay. family. Your family. Okay. <laughs> Rona. Rona says money. <laughs> <laughs> you know, for some people, that's a real answer. You know, like money. Money is before anything. Okay. Uh, it's a, it was a joke. Okay. We'll, we'll take it's it the, as a the, joke, Ronald. It's the family. <laughs> yeah. Family should be first. Yes. All right. Very good. What about number two? Don't use, uh-huh, don't use what? Don't use the best schedule. Uh-huh, yes, the best, the best schedule. schedule. Okay, what do you consider to be the best music? In your opinion, what Perreo. is Perreo, okay. <laughs> what? Uh -oh. Which one? He said Perreo. Perreo. <laughs> Okay. How do you say excuse a teacher? Yeah, eh, eh, kick him out. Okay. <laughs> kick him out. Because we make a, a, a good example with, with using the best teacher. Okay, what was his example? And, and, and he would like to share with the group. Okay, Josue, tell us. <laughs> nah, it's, it's, uh, it's a lie. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Ronald, he, Ronald said that okay so what do you have ronald uh josue told me that the best nightclub in el salvador <laughs> is lips <laughs> no no <laughs> okay. i don't know that <laughs> all right okay that that's his opinion so he must be a, a frequent uh client maybe i think ronald ronald that yeah <laughs> and <laughs> Yeah, Ronald must have a membership there, maybe. No, yeah. I don't know. No, huh? Well, I don't know what is the what is that place. Okay, so you have heard, but you you still ask yourself what the place is. Yeah, maybe it's a restaurant. I think. Yeah, <laughs> it is a restaurant. What kind of restaurant? You, you hear that they have a, a lot of uh, yummy things. Yeah, yeah, they have a lot of <laughs> yummy meat. <laughs> Okay, what about number three? Jane? Jane is the fastest waitress. Okay, good. Can you give me an example with fastest? Anybody? Flash is the fastest man alive. Flash is the fastest man alive, okay. Who is the fastest runner on earth? Usain Bolt. Yes. What is his nationality? Jam how Jamaica. He's from Jamaica. But yeah, he's Jamaican. How... He's Jamaican. Jamaica. Yes. All right. Very good. Uh, what about number four? Delivery orders are what? The most popular. Are the most popular okay. right now. All right. Who is the most popular person in El Salvador? Mauricio Funes. President Bukele. Okay. Funes, <laughs> Bukele, Sanchez Seren, Tony Sasha. No. <laughs> La diputada yeah. Dora La Exploradora. Oh, her. Yeah, Mrs. Cornejo, yes. Mrs. Uh, Cornejo, thank you. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you know, when, when you say the most popular person and everybody merchants uh, uh, politicians, you know. 
Because <laughs> politicians are very popular in El Salvador. Okay. Uh, what about uh, number five? This restaurant. Uh huh. Has what? The prettiest. The prettiest. Good. Who do you think is the prettiest actress right now? Or the prettiest woman in the world? Scarlett Johansson is really. Okay, Scarlett Johansson. All right. What do you think, Fernando? The prettiest woman? Who's the prettiest woman? Um, Nicki Minaj, the teacher. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. We have problems yes? with Fernando. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I agree with him. I yeah. agree with him. Okay, very good. <laughs> Number six. The kitchen manager works what? The works longest? What? The, longest. the longest. Okay, good. Now, is there any day of the week that you consider to be the longest in your office? in your workplace? Or do you work the same amount of hours every day? The same. The same? And I imagine that when you have a long day, maybe it's unpredictable to say, oh, Tuesday is going to be a longest day of the week or Friday is going to be the longest. It's unpredictable. Exactly. Okay, good. All right, um, any questions or comments about uh, that first exercise? No? All right, so I guess that we are good so far. Let me show this. Okay, do you see the image? Yes. Yes. Okay. So here we have another exercise. Let me take an image and send it to your WhatsApp chat. And here you have to use the superlative form of the adjective that is in parentheses. So you guys are digesting this topic really good. So let me assign you to working pairs again. I will move her to room one. I will move her to room one. And Okay, exchange with, exchange with her. Um, he will go to room here. She will go to room five. <laughs> And I will exchange with her. All right, so three, three, two, two. All right, so do the exercise, please. It's loading. Okay, I will. And room six.
is, is like a... Um, Teacher? Um, yes? What is the meaning of land? Uh, which land. number are you talking about? Three. Uh, hold on. Um, let me move this. Elephants. Oh, animales terrestres. In oh, that okay. case, land means tierra. But in this case, we're talking about terrestres. Oh, okay. Okay, okay, yes. okay. On ear. Mm -hmm. Okay. It, elephants mm -hmm. is the largest land Earth. animals on ear. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, elephant are. Uh -huh. Elephants are. Uh, number six. Number six. My cat is the lazy. 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 Animal I know. Number seven. This restaurant serves. The best the food best. in town. Good. The, best. the box about. I am the tallest person in my family. Okay. Jupiter is the biggest planet in our solar system. Mm -hmm. Okay. The biggest. The biggest. It's the biggest. Jupiter is the biggest Jupiter is the biggest solar. planet in our solar system. Elephants are the largest. Elephants are the are the largest land animals on earth. On earth. Uh, maybe. Okay. We we both we both the most expensive TV in the store. In the store. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yep. Uh -huh. Largest. Which one are you doing? Uh, the number yeah. three. Okay, elephants. Teacher. Yes. Yes, sir. What is the uh, correct pronunciation of Jupiter? Jupiter? Uh, Jupiter. 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 Yes. Okay. Yes. And in the number four, we bought, um, how can we put it in that case? We bought the most expensive. The most. Yes, the most because expensive. expensive has three syllables. Okay. It has three syllables, so uh, you should use the the rule that we use for uh, long adjectives. Is the same for it's the number like when, five. What is number five? What is the word in number five? Dangerous. Okay, exactly. Yes, the most dangerous. Okay. Right. And. Um. Lazy. Lazy is laziest. Yes. The laziest. The laziest. Yes. Do you remember lazy. the meaning of lazy? Yes, it's something like um perezoso. Uh-huh. So imagine that I don't speak Spanish. How would you explain the word lazy? Um in English. Yes, in English, because I don't speak Spanish. Okay. It's like, it's a person that always is tired or don't want to do something. Okay. I, I know, I don't know. Yeah, it's a person that is always tired and never wants to do something. That's a good definition. Okay. Yes. Yes, sir. Hello, teacher. Hello, Jimmy. How are you? Fine. Uh, How was your day, Jimmy? I, I am 
I am very tired. Okay, did you work today? Yes. What time did you finish? Uh, uh, six. Okay. And, and, and what is the distance between your work and your house? Um, my work is in downtown in, in San Salvador. Okay, downtown San Salvador. My house is, is in San Marcos. Oh, okay. So do you, do you travel by car, motorcycle or public transportation? Yes, yes. Um, the the traffic is the 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 strip Barrio San Jacinto. Yeah, that's where the traffic is. Yes. Okay. What part of San Marcos do you live in? Um, uh, in Como se dice cerca de la terminal? Near the bus station. Near the bus, the bus, bus station. station. Because bus. San, San Marcos doesn't have much traffic. It's usually very accessible to get there. Usually. Um, um, sometimes. Okay. Mm -hmm. So sometimes the traffic can be difficult. Yes, de depend the the hours. Okay. Uh, for the 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 the, mor the morning uh -huh. is, the, is the more traffic. Okay, that's where you have uh, most of the traffic. Yes. So in English, you call it rush hour. Do you remember rush hour? Rush hour. Rush hour. Horas pico. Horas picos. Uh -huh. hour. Yes. Rush hour. Okay. So let me let me visit one more group. Right. Uh, this restaurant servers is the best. Food. The best. Only the, the best food. Uh -huh. Okay, mm -hmm. the restaurant servers are the best. Are the best. Wow. Servers the is the. Oh no the, no no. Okay, this restaurant serves. Yeah, the the best food. The, the best, best food. Yes. Mm -hmm. Ah okay. Yes. Teacher, yeah. Hello. In Hi. number in number five. It yes. Is plural, uh, which is sport, and the answer is in plural also. Yes. So that's a very um, good observation. If what you are mentioning is plural, then the, the when you're making the superlative form has to be plural as well. So you say, uh, which ports do you think are the most dangerous? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, thank you. All right. Thanks. Okay. Well, number... For me... Which change place? Change the word time and put the, the word day. Today. In, in, in the... No, in the number 11. Last week, I had worst day of my life. No. I, I changed the word time for. For day. For the day. Okay, so but, but what is the, the comparative and superlative of bad? Bad superlative. comparative words. Okay, so we're using superlative. So what would be the correct answer? Bad. Uh-uh. No, it, it's the same. I, Worst, exactly. Worst. Remember that good, bad, and far are the exceptions. Yes. So you say good, better, best. Bad, worse, worst. Far, farther, the farthest. So the worst. Worst. The worst, the worst. is the correct answer. The worst. Yes.
algún día dejaré de odiar las matemáticas. <laughs> you don't like numbers, uh, Rocío? No, I prefer always the language, different language, but numbers, no. It's, it's not for you. No. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't like uh, numbers either, you know. Um, so I never liked mathematics. Nah. <laughs> I love your mathematics. You like mathematics, Magdalena? Yes, teacher. I yeah. love it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and, and I admire people that like numbers, you know, in, in, in math teachers, you know, uh, I admire those people because mathematics is not for everybody. Oh, but um, I think uh, most people don't like the math because they they have uh, a bad math teacher. I think, okay. but I don't know. I I remember my math teachers uh, when I was in school, and I considered them to be good teachers but uh i i never understood what they were talking about okay okay <laughs> there are exceptions <laughs> yeah so i said man i mean mathematics and i wish i understood more about math i wish mm -hmm. i i would yes <laughs> but like i said it's not for everybody someday <laughs> Yeah, someday, exactly, <laughs> someday. That's the, that is the right expression. Don't, don't lose hope. Yes, this <laughs> Hope has to be your last thing uh, to be lost. All right. Wow. Okay. Which number are you discussing? Then... The translation of number three, because uh, land and earth is the same, I think. <laughs> okay, uh, they could be synonyms mm -hmm. if you translate the word, because mm -hmm. earth is the planet. Mm -hmm. Land is the opposite of water, in this case. Mm -hmm. So we're saying, los elefantes son los animales más grandes, a los animales terrestres más grandes. So in that case, mm -hmm. land makes connection with terrestres. Mm -hmm. So, but like I said, if you write land in Spanish, it means tierra. If you write earth, mm -hmm. it also means tierra. Means tierra. Uh -huh. But earth is the planet and land is where your house is. Mm -hmm. So that, that would be the difference. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Hello, hello. Hi. Did you guys finish? What we doing? <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're doing, let me show you the document. You see the document on your screen, uh, Sophia? Yes. Okay, so you guys are completing these sentences using the superlative form of the adjectives in parentheses. Okay. So big, the biggest, large, the largest, expensive, the most expensive, and okay. so on. Yes. Jimmy will explain to you. He's, he's anxious to explain to you, uh, Sophia. No. <laughs> he will explain to you. Most. The most strangest. Uh -huh. Which number? Okay. No, number no. 10, teacher. Okay. When you say the word strange, how many strange. syllables do you hear? Strange. I, I, I hear one. One is correct. Strange. Okay. strange, strange. Okay. So strange, stranger, the strangest. The strangest. Okay. S strangest. Uh huh. Strange. Okay. 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 So what would be the answer for number ten? 
He is, he is the strangest man in the story. Okay, good, good. Okay, thank you, teacher. All right. If somebody... Hi, teacher. Hello. Did you guys we don't finish? Hi, teacher. What is it? Yes. Yes. Hello, Mercy. Hi, teacher. How are you? How was your day, Mercy? Did you have a good day, Mercy? I'm fine. It, it was okay. What about you? Uh, my day was good. I went to, um, what's the name of this place? Metro Centro Lourdes in the afternoon. And I got a little bit wet. So uh, I started to feel my nose a little bit uh, stuffed. But I hope that it's not because of the rain. So, but I will take some medicine when we finish the class. Yeah. Yes, you have to ne to take uh, medicine. Okay. Right. How do you say memohe? I get wet. I got wet. Got. Got, got wet. wet. So how do you wet. tell your children no se mojen? Don't get wet. Don't get wet. Exactly. Okay. Don't get wet. Yes. All right. So I think it's almost time to go back to the main session. Let me check this one here. What do you mean, lazy? <laughs> lazy. Uh, lazy. Lazy. Lazy, lazy town, lazy town. So what's the meaning of lazy? Lento. Uh, it's, it means perezoso. Mm, okay. Yep. Oh lazy God. town, ciudad sí. perezosa. Yeah, lazy town, exactly. Pueblo perezoso. <laughs> yeah, lazy caricatura. Town. Exactly, lazy <laughs> town. Yeah. <laughs> So when it's raining, you know, people feel lazy. They want to be in their bed, sleeping, resting. So it's, it's the perfect weather to be a lazy person. Okay. The bed. <laughs> the bed, right. So you open your eyes and you hear that it's raining, you continue sleeping more. You said, oh, it's raining, so you go back to sleep. And relaxing, teacher. <laughs> exactly. It's like a motivator to stay in your bed. Yes, teacher. <laughs> okay, so let's go back to the main session. All right. So let's check the answers real quick. May I have a volunteer to give us the answer for number two? Jupiter is the biggest planet in our solar system. Very good. The biggest planet, very good. Number three, another volunteer. Elephants. Elephant is the largest Okay, when you the say... Large land animal on, on here. Okay, Fernando, when you see the word elephants, is it singular or plural? Mm, it's plural, elephants. Okay, okay yes. so elephants are. is or are? Are, are. yes, teacher. <laughs> good, very good. Elephants <laughs> are the largest, very good. Are the largest, okay. Good, very good. Good, Fernando. Uh, number four, we bought the most expensive TV. Very good. Good. The most expensive TV in the store. Good. Number five, which sports do you think? Is the most dangerous. Okay. Sports, is it singular or plural? Are the most dangerous. Good. Which sports do you think are the most dangerous? Very good. Number six, my cat is, is the laziest. Is the laziest. Yes. I know. Okay, good. Number seven, this restaurant serves 
what? The best food in town. Yes, the best food in town. Very good. What about number eight? I think math. It's more it's the most beautiful. The most difficult. Okay, difficult. good. It's the most precious. Okay, oh. I think math is the most <laughs> difficult subject, but somebody said it's the most precious. Okay, all right. You know, when you are in school, uh, there are two subjects that people usually don't like. They don't like mathematics or they don't like English. When I was in school, that was the, the normal scenario. Some people didn't like math, other people didn't like English, so. Okay, what about number nine? What? What is the longest word Good. in English that you know? Good. Good. Uh, what about number ten? He's the most strange man in the story. Okay, when you say the word strange, how many syllables do you hear? One. 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 So what would be the correct answer? He is the strangest. Yes, he is the strangest man in the story. Very good. Okay, number 11. Last week, I had the worst, the worst time, of my, time, of, my time of my life. Very good. Which place is the, is the hottest hot, place hot, on hot, earth? Hottest place on good, earth. very good. Uh, 13, I think it, it the is the funniest show, show on the show. Yeah. Excellent. 14, my friend is the most, is the most interesting person, person I, know. I know. Very good. The most interesting person I know. And number 15, who is the most famous person in the Okay, so who is the most famous person? person in your country your and you guys said Mauricio Funes, Bukele, <laughs> Tony Saka and different ones. All right, very good. Congratulations. You guys are doing a very, very, very good job. Nice. So right now, let me take attendance. Sophia Stephanie. Present. Okay, very good. Fernando Arturo. Present teacher. Very good. Coralia. Present teacher. Okay, very good. Ronald Humberto. Present. Good. Cynthia Marcela. Katia Marcela, sorry. Okay, I think she's absent. Uh, Jimmy Rodriguez. Present. Okay, very good. Christian Alexander. Present. Very good. Josue Edgardo. Present. Good. Uh, Jimena Alexandra. Present. Nice. Samuel Rosales. Present. Good. Rocio. Rocio. Present teacher. Okay, very good. Mercy Carolina. Mercy, Mercy. Present. Mercy, are you here? Present. Okay, yes, very here. good. Uh, Araceli. Araceli. Okay, very good. Present. Okay, good. Thank you, Araceli. Maria del Carmen. Present teacher. Good. <laughs> Helen yeah. Lopez. I'm here. Okay. Uh, Luis Escobar. Present teacher. Good, very good. Uh, Stephanie Montano. Here, teacher. Very good. Christian Omar. Present teacher. Good. Wendy Guadalupe. Present teacher. And Magdalena Emperatriz. Present teacher. Nice. So we're missing only one person today. That is very good. Okay. 
Um, any questions about our last exercise? No. So that exercise was, but, yes? Uh, in the number 10, uh -huh. uh, I, I think that is the strange has two syllables or a, a strange. Okay, uh, that, that's a good uh, comment. When you say strange, strange, you only hear one. Let me write it in the chat. Strange. Okay. Strange. Remember that letter S is not a syllable. It's only a sound. It's like when you say special, smog, pain, speak. It's s. So for you to create a syllable, you need to pronounce a vowel. So in that case, when you say strange, ST is not a syllable. And the last letter, which is E, is quiet. So the only syllable, the only vowel that you hear is letter A. a. And that's the reason why okay. you only have one. Okay, thanks. Yes. Okay, anybody else? Any other comments or questions? No. Okay, so let me add room, add room, and add room. All right, so I will send, okay, which rooms do I have available? Seven to 10. All right, move to room seven. Move to room seven, move to room eight, move to room eight. We will move him to room nine. And who else? Move to room nine. And she will go to room four. Ten. Ten. All right. So everybody's supposed to be so I got Fernando exchange here exchange there exchange here all right so let's see Muchas gracias, Ed. Okay. Oh, this one here. The room six. And this is room four. All right, so let's do this. So I will send you the the questions let me send you the image of the questions Lewis.
Hi, teacher. Hello, how are you? Hi, teacher. Who is your partner? Who is uh, your group? Um, Luis, oh, you're, okay. Okay, you're supposed to be with Maria del Carmen, so I'm going to move her to room two. Uh, wait, wait. Go... Seven. Okay. okay. She will go to room seven, and I will move you to another room so you can finish eating your food. That's not a problem. So finish eating, don't worry. All right. And the, Irlanda. Uh -huh. And the third oh. country, mm, England, I think England. Okay. But the, England. the best country is Germany. Germany. Okay. Germany. And you, Kristen? My like mm, friends. Mm -hmm. Um. The seconds. In, uh, England, mm -hmm. como, como es Inglaterra? England, 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 yeah, England, England, England. England. Yeah, um, mm, the I love for is in my case, in my case, is very, is very oh. beautiful for the Venecia, Londres, yes, Europe, <laughs> Europe. Yes, teacher. Europe. Okay. And um, for you, Jimmy? In my case, the best country in the world is... The best. I think Mario Party is... It's exciting, funny. I, I really like and enjoy play Mario Party. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Did you play Were video you? games before, Jimena? Yes, when I was a teenager, maybe. Okay. <laughs> because my my brother have a uh, has a video a game. Play a video PlayStation. I don't know. Uh huh. And maybe one time I I played video games, but oh. I really like Mario Party. <laughs> Okay, yeah, Mario. I think it's uh, well, the the the, the first Mario it came out in the eighties, I think. Mm -hmm. but then it has it's been having different versions. Yes, I think. Yeah. All right. I don't know uh, about video games, but okay. I like Mario Party, and you, All right. Christian. Araceli, can you hear me? Yeah, that's why I put Araceli uh, with two other people because she has uh, connection problems. Okay, okay. Yes, mm -hmm. so she will be only listening, I think. Okay, okay. okay. Mm -hmm. Try it, teacher. Try it, practice. The president, president Putin is popular. like a bukele. Popular, <laughs> <It's> popular. person. <laughs> okay. The second, the second country um, can be Finland. And the third, Noruega. Norway. 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 Okay. Yeah, most of you guys are mentioning countries in, in Europe, you know, France, Italy, England. Norway. Norway. Yes. And the other. What the most exciting video game you know? You know. Metal Slug. <laughs> Mario Kart only. <laughs> you play video games, Sophia? No. No? No. 
Do you have brothers and sisters? Only sisters. And she didn't no. play video games either? No, no. no either. Okay. Yeah. Luis, did you play video games uh, when you were younger? Yes, with some play mm -hmm. uh, Mario Bros. Okay, good, good. In Nintendo. Okay. And you, Josue, did you play video games? Uh, yes, only in ah in in the machine. Uh huh. And also in the computer. Okay. I played the uh, Delta Force. <laughs> All right. In Desert Storm. Okay. Good. Good. Yes. If they have a lot of crime, I think that is a a, a beautiful country. It's a beautiful country, and I think their food is, I think, I imagine, is good. Yes, it's pretty delicious. I went to Colombia the last year. Yes, that's, that's nice. I, I never, the, I never. The opportunity there. of travel to, to Colombia, and it was a great experience. I, I met Pablo Escobar. Really? <laughs> yes, I went to the graveyard. Oh, okay. And, and what's the reason you visited Colombia? Somewhere else? Uh, I have two, two reasons. The first one is that because uh, I travel, I work in a bakery, so they have a training. A program, uh -huh. a training. Uh, I don't remember the name of the program, so that's the first reason. And the second reason that I, I enjoy travel is because it was Colombia. Right, right. So, so you went in, uh, with a scholarship? Uh, no, it went from, um, I don't know how to say it. Mm. A work travel? Yes, like a work travel. Okay, so it was training, it, it wasn't? It was in a program that has a organization, I don't remember the name, but okay. it was for, for uh, MIPES. Like MIPES, I don't yeah. know how to say it. Uh, oh. Pequeños Emprendedores. Right. Emprendedores. Okay. So I, I pay $300, I think, I think uh, yes, 300 For the and ticket. They, yes, for the ticket, and they pay the, the, the hotel and the food and the, and the training. Okay. Yeah. That is a great opportunity. Yeah. Yes, I only pay for the for the for the ticket and how many days were you in colombia five five days yes five, so five you days. went to medellin i went to medellin to the downtown uh, i went to i don't know how to say it uh, como barrio uh, neighborhood neighborhoods yeah i went to the to the graveyard of pablo Escobar and i I really want to travel to the uh, the name of the hacienda, Napoli. Okay, yeah. But it's too too far of the city. You have to travel three hours, I think. I don't remember, but it's it's pretty it's, it's pretty it's, it's it was fast. It uh, was far. Uh, <laughs> travel. That's the the word. Thing. Okay. All right. But the experience was pretty nice. I imagine. I imagine. That's good. Thanks. Thank yeah, that is really good. Yeah. I want to go to Colombia someday. Right. I want to travel. And move all the the picture of my cell phone, but if I have it, I I could show it to us, but I don't have it in my cell phone. Okay, can, can you repeat that, uh, Samuel? That I don't have the the photos that I took in the in the travel, uh, but if I have it, uh, I will I share. Will show, share to us. Did Did you yes. take a pictures of of the place where Pablo Escobar is? Yes. <laughs> All right. I have a, I have a picture with uh, with Griselda Blanco too. 
That's uh, his ex-wife, I think. No, she's the the woman that trained to Pablo Escobar to travel uh, to sport the. Oh. Okay. All right. Good. Good. <laughs> video games. The most I exciting. Only play. The most yeah. exciting video game called. Uh, War of God. I know. <laughs> no. Candy Crush. Ya va a venir. She's outside. Estás encallados. Papi. Ajá. ¿Ah? Uh -huh. Vaya, está bien. Vaya, váyanse ahí. Shh, callados, callados. En you, Mercy, Christian. Um, uh, in my case, I also I have a lot of mm -hmm. wonderful days. For example, we when I when I had a party with my family or, or when I got married also, I think was one of the most wonderful days for me. Mm -hmm. Thank you. When did you get married, Mercy? What year? Um, 2017. Okay, like mm. three years ago? Three years ago. Yes, three years ago. Okay, and what about you, Jimena? When did you get married? Um, I got married in 2018. Oh, that's even more recent. Uh -huh. In the same year, I was pregnant. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. Christian, you're not married, are you? No. Oh. No. Do you have a girlfriend? Yeah, no. No. Soltero, uh -huh. so no okay, so you're single. Single, okay. Okay, good. Wonderful yes. <laughs> day of your life. And for me, was uh, the day of my graduation for the university because I woke up and I feel like oh my god I do it I think this is the most um, wonderful day of my life and how about you teacher uh, I yes, have sir. a question yes <laughs> <laughs> you, you have never drink me the uh, higan a gian ball for follow you no, I never, no. I never dreamt with any giant wolf after me. Never. Okay. <laughs> I have you had. Can fast? <laughs> I, I have had other crazy dreams, but not with a giant wolf after me. Okay, DJ. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, I agree with Wendy when she says that. Uh, you know, when you graduate, that's a very special feeling. Yes. I don't know because uh, when I walk uh, for the scenario, it's just like, oh, this is the moment. But when you have your, um, I don't know, what is what is the word about um, el título? The diploma, your degree. Uh, when you have your degree, that feels uh, amazing, I think. But the day after that, I feel like, um, now what I gonna do? Right, right. And, and yeah. when did you finish your university, Wendy? What year? And, in 2017. Okay, recently. Yes. Uh, almost three years ago. I okay, and, and, from, and what was the career? I graduated from uh, public relationship. Yeah, public relationships. 
Yes. Okay, good. Good for you. Thank you. Think and knowing the latest news. New. Latest. No, no, this thing. Which number are you doing? Number, number nine. Number, yes. Okay, do you like having the latest things and knowing the latest news? Si le gusta tener lo más reciente y saber las últimas noticias. So, mm -hmm. latest. Latest. Oh. Okay. Las okay. últimas okay. cosas, las más recientes y las okay. noticias más frescas, por decir así. Ok. En el número 4, teacher, ¿qué es el saddest sight? Ajá. Uh -huh. Television recently, I, I don't understand. The ok. Question. Le, la vista más triste o el escenario más triste que usted ha visto en la televisión recientemente. Ah, ok. Ok. Yes. So that's the meaning of, of, of that question. Yes. I, I think uh, my, my, my feel, mi, mi estado de ánimo. Pensé que era mi estado de ánimo. Well, ¿Qué it, veía it, yo cuando, uh, yeah, when you're when you're talking about sadness, that's an emotional state too. Uh -huh, a a uh -huh. bad state, you know. Bad state. Okay. Yes. Uh -huh. All right. Thank you. <laughs> really? <laughs> yes. <laughs> when did you cry, Maria? Um, um, when I see the movie uh, Diario de una Pasión. Oh, um, the notebook. Yes. Yeah, that's a very nice movie. It's one yes. of the best I have seen. Exactly. Very nice movie. Yes. And, and, and the thing is that it's, uh, it, it can happen to real people, you know, because we're all going into that direction. Yes. So now you watch the movie, you enjoy it, and you say, man, one day I can be in the same situation. Yes. Yep. Teacher, I have a question. Yes, for, sir. For a, a word. Yes. In, in the question number four. Okay. What did the sad this side? Yes. I don't know. Okay. Sight means vista. So, ¿cuál ha sido lo más triste que usted ha visto en televisión recientemente? Mm. So, was it a movie? Was it a documentary? Was it news? So, the question is very general, so you can answer mm. in, in, in different forms. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. What? 9.30. Chica. <laughs> oh, English. English. Sorry, teacher. What, Sorry. What, what music <laughs> do you like, Ronald? And, uh, I told her that nowadays only I... I hear uh, electronic music. 
Okay. And specifically, a deep house music. All I right. prefer that kind of music. Okay. Does it keep you motivated listening to that music? Yeah, I can imagine. I can imagine everything. Okay. And I feel relaxed, and I like very much. I like very much. Okay. And you, Helen, what is your favorite music? Pop. Pop. Like Ronald said. Yeah. Okay. Pop. I like rap. Rap, mm. rap is always my, my first choice. Mm. Yeah. Good. Yeah, I, I like the beat, the rhythm, mm -hmm. and uh, so it's, it's, it's pretty cool. Yes. All right, That's so it's nice. almost time to go back to the main session. Okay. Okay. It doesn't matter. I love the movie. Yes, it's, it's very funny. Especially Which movie? At animated, What's the name of the movie? Hotel Transylvania. Oh, okay. It's I don't very know funny. if you have grandchildren, but if you have have it and they are, uh, I don't know how to say it, older, older, uh, older. Maybe they they see the movie. It's pretty cute. Okay, good, good. It's a great movie. <laughs> all right. Did okay. you finish all the questions? One. No, we only have three. <laughs> okay. Good. I mean, as long as you keep the conversation going, don't worry. So you're okay. practicing the language. That's good. Okay. Okay. Teacher. Yes, sir. In the number four, what is the saddest site? Have you ever seen television recently? What is sight? Okay. The question is, ¿cuál es lo más triste que usted ha visto en televisión recientemente? Mm -hmm. Sight means vista. Uh, ¿Cuál ha uh, sido la sight. vista más triste que ha experimentado en la televisión últimamente? Okay. Yes. Thanks. All right.
All right. Um, any questions on the last exercise about vocabulary, structure, or meaning of, of the words? No questions, no comments? I, me teacher, I, yes. I, I don't remember the contraction. You, I, I don't remember uh, que significa esa contraction. Okay, uh, what number are you talking about, Stephanie? Number three, what's the funniest book oh, you... You have ever. Uh -huh. You, ah, okay. You have ever. Okay. El libro más chistoso que usted ha leído. Okay. okay. Yes. Someone else? Any other questions or comments? No, number nine. Yes. Do you like having the latest things and knowing the latest news? The context, I don't understand it. Okay, si le gusta tener las últimas cosas, lo más reciente, y saber las noticias últimas. So, late, later, latest. Latest mm -hmm. makes reference to something that is very fresh. Uh, uh, uh. So, for example, if I ask you, what is the latest uh, version of iPhone? Oh, the latest version of iPhone is 11, 12, I don't know. So it, it, it's a synonym of newest. Okay. Yes. Anybody else has any questions or comments? No? Okay, so let me, um, Katia Marcela, are you here? No, she never came. All right. Okay, so, for today, I have five people programmed to have extra 10 minutes if you, um, if you have questions or if you just want to practice or if you need me to clarify something. So let me read the names. I have at 10, wait, wait a minute. Yeah, 10 p.m. I have Lewis. At 10.10, 10, I have Stephanie Montano. Then I have Christian Omar. At 10.20, Wendy Guadalupe is programmed to be here at 10.30. And Magdalena Emperatriz is supposed to be here at 1040. So if you guys have questions, if you want to practice extra, or if you just want to say anything, I expect to see you at that time. All right. So what is the superlative form in number one? The best. The best. Number two? Yeah. The most most exciting. Exciting. Number three. The funniest. Number four. The saddest. The saddest. Number five. Words. 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 Oh. Number six. The, the most, most wonderful. wonderful. Good. Number seven. The most the most, the most the thing. thing. Good. Number eight. The greatest. The greatest. greatest. The greatest. The greatest. Number nine. The latest. The latest. The latest. Very good. The and what is the last one? The earliest. The earliest. The earliest. 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 Now, do you remember? Do you remember? Do you say the earliest or the earliest? The earliest. The earliest. Yes, the, the earliest. earliest. All right. The good. earliest. All right. So let's go to our last activity. Um. Hold on. We are. In this part. All right, so we are on part seven. And we're going to be talking about strategies. 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 Okay. Strategies. 
how can you define the word strategy? What is your concept about a strategy? A plan. A plan. Good. Good. That is a good synonym. A strategy is a plan. May I have a volunteer to read uh, the question, please? Which of these strategies do you and your partner consider effective the, to avoid overstaffing and understaffing? Okay, good, thank you. Do you guys remember the meaning of the word overstaffing? No. No. Okay, for example, I work in a library and in the department where I work, we only need five people. But for some reason, we have seven. So we have more than what we need. That is overstaffing. What is the opposite? Understaffing. Under. So once again, I need five people in the department, but I only have three. So that means that I am understaffed. So overstaffing means to have more people than what you need. And understaffing means to have fewer people than what you need. Are the concepts clear? Clear. Yes. Overstaffing, yes. tener gente de más. Understaffing is tener gente de menos. Si sí, staff es, es como personal, overstaffing sería como exceso de personal. Yeah, overstaffing is exceso. Under mm -hmm. means que le hace falta. Okay. Okay. Okay, so can somebody please read number one? Volunteer. Schedule to your employees quickly. Thank you, Wendy. Provide the schedule to your employees quickly. Number two, someone else. Find a method to communicate quickly with employees. Okay. Oh, vaya. <laughs> Question, sentence number three. <laughs> Señores, uh -huh. into account. Very good. Number four, someone else. A schedule having your employees' strengths in mind. Very good. Number five. Allow for changes in the schedule. Very good. And the last one. Uh-huh. Using phone reminders. Very good. Nice. Okay. Um, are there any questions with pronunciation or meaning on, on part seven? Yes. And uh -huh. number six, what is the meaning of absentee? Uh, absentism. Absentism. Uh, prevent absentism. What is the opposite of absentism? Present. Present. Yes. Present. Yes. So absentism <laughs> makes reference with the word absent. Mm, okay. uh -huh. Ausentismo. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you, teacher. All right. Any other questions, class? Any other questions or comments before you are assigned on your last activity? All right, so let me move her to room one. Move her to room one. Puta madre. Room two, three. Four, room four, mm 
room five, room five, six, six, seven, seven, eight, eight, and move to room six. All right, here we go, people. So your mission is to discuss which of these six tragedies you consider to be effective to avoid overstaffing and understaffing. Teacher. Hello. How do you say complete? Uh, what is the complete um, sentence, Jimena? For example, in the in the sentence one, provide the schedule to your employees quickly. Okay. I tell uh, Stephanie that it's important to organize the schedule. Uh, para que cumplan los empleados su, su horario. Okay. Achieve. Achieve. Yes. Okay. Achieve es cumplir o lograr. So you said, I'm giving you the schedule so you guys can achieve uh, your working hours. Mm -hmm. okay. Or you can also use do. I'm giving you the schedule so you guys mm -hmm. can do your working hours too. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. Yes. Or an understaffing. Okay. Uh, for I for you. What for do you me, think? The overstaffing. For. Over a, or under. But is uh, the preference into into the the work or the preference about the work? Um, Teacher. Yes. In this case, when, and the number three says, uh -huh. they work in preference, preferences into account. Yes. So it means, um, imagine that you are a new worker and they ask you, uh, what do you prefer? Do you prefer the morning shift or the afternoon shift? Do you prefer to work in reception or in the kitchen? So that means that the employee's uh, opinion are taken into account, are considered. Oh, okay. So that's, that's the meaning of, 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 of that uh, sentence in particular. Okay, thank you. Okay. 
encontrar un método para comunicarse con los empleados? No, quizás. Porque así evitamos oh, que ellos, que, eh, que los citemos al lugar de trabajo y Ay, este, el exceso tiempo. de personal. Ajá. Hello, hello. Hi, teacher. What happened to Sofía? I don't know. Just, just say me, give me a moment. Okay, good. So what time did you start working today, Maria? At 3 p.m.? Yes, 3 p.m. Okay, so you go from 3 to 11. Exactly. Okay. Sorry. All right, good. So Sophie is back. Yes, sorry. <laughs> okay, I will let you guys speak all you want. Most, most, most arrived from eight to to twelve, and the, and uh, and others uh, needs to to arrive uh, to one from one to 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 five. So in that case, if you don't provide the schedule, maybe all the people uh, will arrive at the job. So in that case, you you will have you will have. Hello, teacher. Hi, teacher. Hello. How are you? We are fine. Good. Did yes. you finish discussing part seven? Yes. We, yes. we discussed <laughs> that the the best uh, strategy to to avoid uh, overstaffing and understaffing is provide to the employees the schedules weekly. Right. So right. that way they know what what have to do in the week or in the month. Right. Yes, when they have the schedules, they can prepare their own agendas. Yes, so they, they don't have to ask uh, what will what we'll do, what we'll do in the week, what we'll do today. Right. Right. Yeah. Uh, now, do you guys work with schedules or uh, for week or do you work by months? How do you program your schedules at work? For week. Okay. In my case, for week. Okay. And you, Josue? Uh, in my case, is for a year. <laughs> I okay. Think. Yes. <laughs> Yes. yes, when you work in a school, in a academy, uh, educational institutions, they give you a year um, schedule. Mm -hmm. yes. Right. Okay, good. Sir, related to the, the real um, activities in the company. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, quickly is better. It's the best, I think. Exactly. And then... Hi, teacher. Hello. The teacher yes. sounds uh, like a ghost. <laughs> teacher, yes. The teacher disappeared. Yes. Uh, so, teacher, um, I have a question. Yes, Coralia. Uh, what is the meaning of hello? Hello. Permitted. Hello? Allowed. It's a sign of permit. Permit. Yes. So, in other words, permit changes in the schedule. Oh, yeah. In the schedule. Okay. Uh -huh. okay. Yes. Mm, no. Uh, the ones we, we are discussed that the ones is the best strategy. Okay. okay. Yeah. All right. Provide, provide the schedule to your employees quickly. Quickly. Right. And take, take working preference into account. Yes. It is a good one, but not always. Right. Only mm -hmm. in the moment that we can right. include those preferences. Right, right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if, if, if the situation permits you to ask employees for their preferences, sure, why not? Mm -hmm. But like Helen says, it might play on the wrong side of the of the understanding, you know. So. Le dan la mano y agarran el brazo. Yes. Mm -hmm. 
Exactly. It happened. Yeah. So in El Salvador, you know, people are very special in, in terms of understanding uh, the the schedules, the duties that they have. Exactly. Yep. Yes, they are very special. <laughs> All right. Good. Next. A schedule yeah. having your employees strange in mind. A schedule having your employees is strange. Okay. Do you remember the meaning of strengths? No, teacher. Strengths is connected to strong. Okay. So, schedule having your employees strong points in mind. So, if someone tells you, I love to work graveyard. So, he said, okay, okay. So, if Francisco likes to work graveyard, he's a good mm -hmm. candidate to to work in the graveyard. Okay. okay. So you have to take advantage of your workers' uh, strong points. Okay. Yes. I think it's more for the owners. He, they never think about um, a strange demands of his employees. No, the, the, the business or, or companies think about only uh, make a money, make cash <laughs> money. But yeah. the, Hi, in, teacher. Hello. In this case, the number four, schedule mm -hmm. having your employees strengths in mind is 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 a good option. But in El Salvador, um, don't I never never seen in. And it's not a, a real case. <laughs> it's only how how you say it's only for the call center. For example, is is recommended. And I think they use that rule for understaffing. So having your employees' strengths in mind. Yeah. Yes. So I if I them. tell you, uh, you know what? My favorite shift is graveyard. I function better if I work graveyard. So people will say, okay, so Francisco likes to work graveyard. So let's put him in, in the graveyard shift. You know, just, just an example. So, oh, okay. so when, you, when you take into account the positive points of your employee. Yes. Exactly. For yeah. graver, the meaning is like um, night shift. Night shift. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Yes. Okay. Her job. Okay. So, in my case, everything is new because I never do uh, anything about her her job. So okay. It, Kind of difficult, but I am learning right now. <laughs> okay. But I think we all need. <laughs> Go ahead, Fernando. I'm sorry, teacher. Uh, at I at times we all need. You advise for that for for that for the time free teacher. For the free time. For the free time, yes. Okay. All right, so let's go back to the main session. Okay. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's 10 p.m. already. And today is the day that we have the extra 10 minutes with five of you guys. Once again, if you have questions, if you have comments, if you need extra explanation about any topic, feel free to connect. Uh, so thank you very much for your time. And um, I'll be seeing you tomorrow, same place, same time. Have a good night. Bye, everyone. Bye, teacher. Bye. See you later. Bye. 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 Bye.